Hi everyone, it's Michelle and I'm back with another video, but this time about what you need to have in your home for your children. Now, we didn't have enough time to really get things together. Um, as we were told, a lot of us that we needed to shut down or a lot of the schools didn't have um, time to get things together. but. I have a few things or a few essentials that the children could or should have as you were sending them off to their homes. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you need to have a library um, in your child care where the children can take out books and DVDs or CDs just like they do at the library. Um, and these things are essential so that they can have a little piece of school at home, um, especially if they wanna take some of their favorite books out. And so a lot of the things that I have are, I have DVDs that reinforce a lot of the learning that we do. I also have some DVDs for the school age children um, as they're reading their nonfiction, fiction, and all types of um, maybe some historical fiction. I try to have some of those DVDs here for them and so they can take out uh, some of those movies and watch it once they finish reading a lot of their books. So I have The Cricket in Times Square, Holes, um, I have some favorites for of my children, like Things We Do Every Day um, by Hip Hop Baby, and I have some Leapfrog things, and um, Scholastic, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, and Chicka Chicka One, Two, Three. And I also have a game, um, The Honey Bee Tree, and I have other games as well that the children can check out um, and keep for a certain amount of time and bring back. And I have a National Geographic Kids Magazine, as well as a lot of other books that the children enjoy. If you give a pig a party, if you give a mouse a cookie, and I also have some other books, some books in Spanish. Um, so that will be very important for those that speak Spanish. And then I try to keep uh, infants, Tyler, in preschool what to read and what you wanna do is you wanna have uh, a list of books that include uh, board books. You wanna have some easy books for toddlers, some easy books for preschoolers, touch and feel board books, some lift the flat board books, some concept board books. And then you also wanna have some picture books, okay? As well as some nonfiction books. And so you wanna equip your children with a lot of these things as you are preparing for them to be home. And I also like to give this book bag. And I got this book bag from Lakeshore and you can get just the book bag emptied and you can put your own things in here or you can order it filled with some of the things that they put in. So some of the things that they put in here were the Wipe Off Early Learning Adventures book for Pre-K and K. They put in here also the Alphabet uh, Puzzle book fun to know puzzles. You want to have some essentials like crayons and large crayons, particularly for the little ones um, as they have small hands and it's good for them to be able to grip. Glue stick, scissors, and remember these types of scissors um, are not sharp. So you want to make sure you have the blunt scissors, but also they're able to cut a pencil. And for those of you who 
may have some of the the larger or the the fat pencils the wider pencils because those are easier to grip as well the pencil sharpener and this book is great um, we use these for storybooks um, the kids can draw and then write sentences in you can use them for journaling all types of things sentence writing so that's very um, important and so when you're preparing your children uh, for something like this you want to make sure that you let the parents know yes you can check out DVDs and CDs yes you can check out games you can also check out books and you probably won't get them back for a while it depends on how long uh, we are quarantined or trying to stay safe with our social distancing uh, but at least you know you'll be giving the children and um, a piece of school that they can use each day and also let the parents know that uh, yes we will provide them with something for them to take home and I also want to show this book here um, this book is called teach me to do it myself it is a Montessori activities for you and your child and so I use this quite often uh, at my child care so that you can teach the children the different things life skills social skills things like that uh, and so that's always good to have uh, also whether they're at the child care and I've also suggested that book to a lot of parents so I just wanted to give you some idea of what you can send the children home with and I will see you in the next video please leave me your comments uh, let me know what types of things did you send your children home with I know a lot of kids went home with Chromebooks a lot of the school-age kids um, and so perhaps you have a backpack system of some sort and you filled your backpacks with lots of things to send home with the children or perhaps you had some other ideas. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.